what's going on guys welcome back to the channel it's your boy cubs in this video we're going to be showing you guys how to potentially lower your ping and also just smooth out your network settings just for a smoother experience so the first thing you're going to want to do to get a fresh start in the search bar go ahead and type in network reset you're going to want to hit reset now you're going to get a little blue screen little blue box that comes up that's going to say your PC will restart in five minutes. You hit close and you really don't have to wait five minutes. You could if you want to, but if not, you can just go ahead and restart your computer from there and the, the settings will reset. So you don't have to wait that five minutes if you don't want to. So once you do that, everything's going to reset your advanced settings, everything. What I recommend doing is going into device manager. And what I like doing, this isn't also required. Since I'm running Ethernet, I like disabling the Wi-Fi just so it's not even in use anymore and it's only focused on Ethernet. So if you're not using wire, uh, Wi-Fi, I recommend just going right-clicking and hitting disable. And that's why that little white arrow is pointing down. That means it's disabled. That's just one thing I like doing. <clears throat> and then once you exit out of that, you can go ahead and type in control panel. network and internet network sharing center and then you're going to want to click on your ethernet right here from here we're going to go to properties configure driver and you're going to want to update your driver go ahead and search automatically and if it has an updated driver that it needs to be installed it'll do it automatically for you so once you have updated your drivers go ahead and hit close <clears throat> We're going to want to go back into this and go to properties. The only thing you need to have checked here is the internet protocol version for TCP IPv4. The rest you can leave unchecked. Go ahead and hit OK and then go back into properties and this time hit configure. You're going to want to go to power management and uncheck the power saving. Allow the computer to turn off this device. Turn the, Uncheck that. Then go into advanced. And here you're going to look for two main things is power saving features and then energy efficient Ethernet, which is here. And there's also one that may say green Ethernet. Anything that has to do related to that green Ethernet, energy efficient Ethernet, depends on the type of driver you have. Whether it's Intel, Realtek, or what was it? Uh, killer. That's it. So energy efficient Ethernet, off. And then anything with power saving in it. So you have reduced speed on power down. I like turning that off as well as system idle power saver. And then you also have one more at the bottom here, ultra low power mode, disable all those. I also like disabling these wake settings as well. It'll just keep the driver on always. Then go ahead and hit okay. And what'll happen from here, you'll see that your network will temporarily disconnect and then it'll reconnect because you change settings, but that's perfectly normal. And then now I have a link in the description for the network pack. And this is the first time I've actually added a pack to my videos. And all credit to this pack goes to Adam X. If you're watching me, chances are you've watched him. He's one of the only other YouTubers that I actually will trust with my PC to make any other switches or changes or tweaks, anything like that. So all credit goes to Adam X and his link will be in the description below as well. So this link to this pack will be in the description as well. Go ahead and extract it. You're going to have to download it. If you can't download it, you're going to have to download 7-Zip or WinRAR. And then once it's downloaded, go ahead and just drag it to your home screen so it's right on the front here. Go ahead and double click on it. Adware Cleaner is definitely something that I recommend installing. It's already installed with the pack here. Um, pretty much what you do is you just run, double click on it. You'll run the scan, <clears throat> and pretty much if it comes up with any items detected, you're going to want to hit quarantine, and then it'll fix those issues. But this will help with any stutters or ping issues. It'll actually help with FPS drops as well. So from here, we're just going to go back to the pack. Delivery optimization is just a useless, a useless feature that is always running in the background. So what you want to do is you want to double click, hit yes, and okay. 
I just, even though I know it doesn't affect anything by doing these more than once, I already have all these applied, so I'm not going to do it again. But you just hit double click, yes, and OK. I'm going to hit no. Network throttling index. That's something that's also <coughs> proven to lower ping and also just make it more stable by disabling the network throttling index. Go ahead and double click on that. Hit yes and OK. Double click on all these and hit yes and OK. And then network priorities. Go ahead and double click on that and hit yes and OK. Once OneDrive is just another type of storage area that is useless. Just so make sure you definitely go ahead. I'm going to make sure this is disabled as well. Disable yes and OK. <clears throat> so once you do all those, you can go ahead and exit out of the pack. And then I'll leave another link in the, in the description for the TCP optimizer. Once it's downloaded, you'll hit run as administrator. And then from here, you just want to copy my settings. Go ahead and drag this bar all the way to the right here, the 100 megabytes plus. Even if you don't have 100, I still recommend sliding it all the way over. Then from here, change this to your Ethernet connection or wireless, whatever it is. Make sure you only have checked modify all network adapters. You're going to want to hit custom now to change every other setting here. So for the MTU, type in 1500. And then from here, just copy my settings. So TCP window tooting, normal. Window scaling, disabled. CCP is CTCP. Receive side scaling enabled. R segment, RSC enabled. And then we have ECN capability, disabled. Checksum offloading, enabled. TCP chimney offload, disabled. Large send offload enabled. And 1323 timestamp, disabled. From here, we're going to go into advanced settings. And then we got max connections per server, 10 and 10. And then 4, 5, 6, 7. We got 2 disabled. RTO 2000, minimum RTO 300. QoS 0, QoS use, this is optimal 1. Network throttling index is disabled FFFF 8 times. System responsiveness is 0. And then these three features right here is disabling Nagel's algorithm, which is 100% needed to help with network settings. So we got the TCP ACK frequency disabled one, TCP no delay enabled one, and then TCP DEL ACK ticks zero. Large system cache default, size default, and then we got max user port 65534, and then the wait delay is at 30. All right, and then once you got all those, Go ahead and you can hit apply and then make sure you save those settings and it'll probably ask you to restart your computer to let all these take effect you're going to have to restart your computer all right so i'm just going to exit out of this and also remember to run that as administrator or it won't work properly and then from there that's pretty much the final step so i recommend restarting your computer from there make sure everything is just you know, set in stone, restarting it always helps that. The one final thing I would recommend doing possibly is just typing in percent temp percent and just clear everything that's in here. If it doesn't delete, oh, well that deleted, so you're good there. And then also hit r type in run and then you type in temp in here as well. Delete everything that's in here. And then also type in run and type in prefetch and then delete everything that's in here. Prefetch will probably have the most in there. And then make sure you delete everything from there and then delete or empty your recycle bin. All right, guys, well, that'll do it for this video. Let me know in the comments if this helped. And also I would like to know what other videos you might like to see next. This was recommended, this video by one of my viewers. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Just make sure you hit subscribe and hit that like button if you are new. And until the next one, guys, peace out.